Everybody, Good morning. I have a motion to call the meeting to order today. I make the motion to call the meeting to order. Thank you. Uh, Christine Ferno is has an excused absence today. Everybody else is here. Wonderful. Um, in front of you have the meetings from uh, the meeting minutes from our June 8th meeting. Uh, if anybody has any questions, concerns, anything they want to bring up, please do so. Take a minute to look at them. Nothing there. If I could have a motion to accept the um, minutes. Just one little correction, Patrice. There's two ends in my name. Or whoever. We missed that. <laughs> and see, I, and I was copying it off what came up, what or what I could read. Mind you, I've been in this mess. Um, when you were on Zoom, yeah, that was, I was trying to copy it uh, from there. <laughs> it's a comment. Um, there is actually a family in Millbury named Dwynell that has one end. Oh, really? This is Dwinnell, so we have two. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I make a motion to accept Junius. <coughs> I'll second it. Thank you so much. Great. Right. Patrice, so please uh, update on bills and vouchers, please. So we bought some office supplies, uh, paid the phone bill underneath our general budget, and we bought uh, some things on Amazon, some purification systems, and a new sign for out front because the bulletin board, the back is all dilapidated. Yeah. It's about eight or nine years old, and um, you know it gets weathered. Absolutely. Felt the elements. So, and we did that under the grants. Uh, we also bought a new dolly. Uh, Jennifer and I actually moved from side to side all of this furniture as the guys were doing the flooring. We just kind of stayed one step ahead. They would do one section, we move it back. And we thought, we really need something to move stuff. So Adam, uh, our maintenance manager, would be a nice dolly. So we're able to move things from place to place, especially when we stack chairs and, Very cool. and yeah. other stuff. So we got a good workout all of uh, I was going to say, we've been asking for here. that for yeah. a long time. All of April, May, and June, yeah. is thanks to the highway guys, <laughs> they moved the big pianos and the uh, uh, bingo machine. Very nice. <laughs> so. Tell us about your open house. So the open house was very successful. People came in, they loved the new flooring. Everything looks really fresh and clean. You don't feel like you're in a basement anymore. We don't have the old musty smell as everybody has noticed. Um, we gave everybody their scan tags and it was really nice to welcome everybody back. Um, I think Beautiful. we had maybe 40 or so people come through uh, in the first couple hours. And then on Tuesday, we started back up um, with bingo and on Wednesday with our exercise and Thursday. So. Now, yesterday was our first painting class. So in the last few weeks, we've seen a lot of new faces, which is nice, and all of our regular patrons coming back. And um, it's been really very successful, I think, because people just wanted to get out and about. Everybody's been vaccinated, and um, now our new newsletter has gone out so everybody realizes that we're open. And uh, Jennifer and Katie did a ton of uh, flyers to put on the, on the board outside that are nice and bright and welcoming. So, it's been um, really good. Tomorrow we're going to have our first lunch and movie. Nice. Wow. It's for free. And um, we're What's doing the, movie? the Fisherman's Friend. Okay. It's a nice Irish movie. And we're going to do a tuna on croissant and lobster biscuit and clam chowder. Some ice cream sandwiches to go with the theme. And then if you're a land lover, you can have a grilled cheese and tomato soup. That's great. Um, we're going to do that again in August. Um, so those will be our free lunches. And then I've been looking like crazy. Um, anybody and everybody that was supposed to come in before we closed and anybody else who wanted to come in. And I just booked Smile Day yesterday. Oh, I saw. Oh, okay. okay. Smile Day is going to be so big that it's going to have to be at the gym at the Municipal Center. Really? What is yeah. that? Oh, wow. So Smile Day, um, our accountant, Jean, hooked us onto this National Smile Day. It's in October. It's October 1st. And we make it a really big event. We have cultural council, uh, cultural council funds. And... Um, We've done a lot of different things. It's always our specialist day, and we always keep the entertainment a secret, but it's always spectacular. And this one I'm really excited for. So I just booked that yesterday, and uh, Unibank had offered to sponsor a pizza party, so I'm just waiting for Karen to call me back and see if she can do that. Be easy enough to be able to do that, and then do some cupcakes or something up at the 
municipal center but the entertainment is really big so I need a really big space so it's going to be at the municipal center. I, I'm sorry, I can't get used yeah. to municipal center. Yeah. <laughs> That's still in the, in the, it'll be uh, yeah, yeah, the town hall. It'll be um, it'll be in the gym. Yep. So it's easy access for everybody. There's an elevator. They have ramps, and um, just don't have enough space for it. Wow. So that'll be September 29th. September 29th at noon time. And the smile day. What uh, what time was that? Noon time. Noon. Yep. And so, did you say that was at the municipal center? That's the one program that'll be up there. Yep. So I uh, reached out yesterday to Ryan Hogan, who's in charge of booking that, and now I just got to figure fill out the usage form, and okay. then the chief will sign off on it. Uh, it's so sure. nice to see all these programs back. It is. You know, oh, it's awesome. just it is. wonderful, and you know, to come into such a bright, refreshing place now. Yeah. We've yeah, been doing know. everything um, free. All of, I mean, most of our meals anyway, but um, we'll be cooking them here, and um, other people are sponsoring them, Cornerstone sponsoring a meal, um, Jen Fay, our lawyer, is sponsoring a, a meal, so, um, in Unibank, so. That's great. Cornerstone's going to come in and do a cooking show, so everybody's, oh, everybody's been really That's excited that we're exciting. open, and, yeah. Yeah, so. the food is good, too. It's, oh, it's yeah. spectacular. The eating healthy program. Yeah, really they have they, they do that a lot. The uh, eating healthy program, yeah. like Mediterranean diet, I think, yep. something like that. And uh, Rebecca Carrington, who is one of our favorites, that have been in those decades. Yeah. She is now in charge of the uh, Mediterranean diet. Yeah. 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 Ye
You should put a sign on it, freezing. I put my lunch in there the other day and it was frozen by the time I got there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh, yeah, I will. That's a good idea. <laughs> I know, it's it's actually yeah. better. Good point. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's really big in there, too. Yeah. You didn't notice when you opened it, everything was frozen solid? Yeah, I did, but it didn't ring a bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we have a microwave so you can defrost your sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Any other business anybody wants to bring up today? Do, do we have an abundance of pianos? Or was that my imagination when I was down here yesterday? So we have the piano that was donated from my aunt's estate. That's an original one. We have an organ um, that was donated. And the new piano that you see, that big, beautiful carved piano, was donated, um, gosh, she was in Pants and Pink last week. I can't think of her name. It's actually a player piano, so we have all of the music for it. So oh, right. now that we're so that's not the piano, the piano man played <laughs> honky tonk guy. No, okay. that one came in during the pandemic last year. Oh. So the piano uh, mover who moved it is very well versed in this specific piano. I think it's like I don't know early 1900s, and it's a player piano. So we have all of the music, like I said. He's going to come in and teach us how to put the scrolls in. Do you, you have a lot of scrolls? Oh. Cases oh, keep those. Those cases are worth a lot Cases and cases and cases and cases. Every yeah. music genre from every kids. era. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't know how to use it, obviously. So he's going to come in and show us. So we will be booking that That'll now that we're neat. open. I was going to say, that would be like, fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know who it was? It was Flory. Do you remember Flory? From Pam's paint class? She was lovely. So anyway, her friend. Oh, yes. So her friend, when she was um, going through her house and, and such, said, it's so beautiful. Would you guys want it? So she sent me some pictures, and I said, absolutely. Oh, it's mm -hmm. so, beautiful. I did last year look up the serial number and the year and all of that, and I can't remember. It was yeah. early 1900s, but it's beautiful. It's in, not a scratch on it. Yeah, so. yeah fully, it works, right? It fully, you can fully play, and it's wow. been tuned. Wow. Um, and we have all the scrolls. Like I said, we just don't know how to put them in. So we figured that would be nice background. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's so neat. One thing you mentioned about putting in some counters, uh, cabinets up here. In the kitchen. To the left. To the left. You've got a big dead space. Yep. Yeah. And it would be a neat spot to put a shelf to hold big lightweight things like some of the big bowls yep. or a coffee urn or something yep. like that. Yep. If they could stick one in there, it would be handy, I think, for yep. some of the events you have. And Brian does everything flawless. He's the one that did the back door so he could, and our windows. He comes in, he makes it look like he it's always been here. So wow. he will. Um, he's already found these cabinets, and um, we're going to have new couch tops on because they're very uh, they're chipped, they're really stained, they're original. Yeah. Um, I had to do a little bit of history for the Senior Center for <coughs> the Library for the 275th anniversary. I didn't know that much about when we opened. I interviewed a couple of seniors, and then Jennifer found a lot of stuff online. And in 1975, they established the Council on Aging. And then in September of 1977, they opened up upstairs. They actually provided the school lunch for the kids that were down here coming from the school. So um, it was really fascinating reading all that. So it'll be in the book that I'm sending, uh, the, that I'm sending over to the library. So, in 1997, they moved down here, and that was the last time anything was done. So that was how old the carpet, the flooring, <laughs> and everything else uh, was, and the cabinet. So everything down here is original. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Any other business anyone wants to bring up today? We do have to reorganize. We'll do it, I suppose, when Christine's here at our yes, next Yes, we have a full yep. complement of staff. And reorganize what? The board. Oh, okay. The board, yeah. So every year we have to, you know, basically talk about their positions here and new people, all that stuff. So. We have to make sure that Pat stays uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um Anything else? Anybody? How about our next meeting date? Are we doing something in August? Um, we could do the 10th. Or we could do. 17th work better for anybody? Yeah, the 17th would be okay. Is that okay? We have, that uh, just let me check. Yeah, please, go right ahead. The Tuesday, 17th. Yeah, that's right. Is that all right? Yeah, that works right. Yep. 
Chief, you're good? Okay. All right, so the 17th at 9 a.m. will be our next meeting. And I guess that's all, folks. If we could have a motion to adjourn. I'll make, make a motion. motion. Thank you. <laughs> A second. Thank you. It's been third and fourth too. Yeah. <laughs>